let's chat a little bit more about the most recent Too Long Didn't Read, the series where I look at the most recent research in vet med and kind of talk to you about it and, and give you the pearls of wisdom. So I got a, quite a few comments like this, which makes me very, very excited. There were definitely issues with the study. It was a retrospective study, so just by nature, it's not as good. And basically that means they're looking at these cats after the fact, so it is just not super well controlled from the get-go. We always prefer prospective placebo controlled studies to get the least biased results. Although this comment seems a little bit harsh, I wouldn't say this is old news. This is a May of 22 study. And I also wouldn't say that it's unsupportive. There's actually a few studies that I will refer to that actually very much support this claim. But the point is, I, I do agree with you. I think that the biggest issue with this specific study is that it didn't control for what cats were getting the prazosin. And my theory is that more severely affected cat is more likely to get prazosin therapy. And those cats also just by nature are more likely to reobstruct. But like I said, I come with receipts. So here are a few other studies that have looked at this and two of them are prospective placebo controlled studies that were actually done pretty well. One of the studies was not big enough to get a truly accurate result, but it is still suggestive. And basically all these studies, even though they didn't see a increased rate of reobstruction in the prazosin treated cats versus placebo, they also didn't see any difference. So no decrease in the rate of reobstruction of these cats. And this is a medication that is needed to be given three times a day. And cats are historically really hard to pill and it can cause them a lot of stress. So in my mind, if there is no proven benefit to giving it, no theoretical benefit, and I'll talk about that in another video because it looks like we're running out of time. And also it increases stress for both the cat and owner. Why do it? And these are a few of the reasons why I don't personally prescribe Prazosin for my obstructed cats.